All right, <clears throat> we're gonna try this again for the first time. Uh, this is the first video that I've been we'll be putting up on YouTube, and it's gonna be a mess. Nobody should have done a video like this. It's gonna be out of hand and a little grabtastic, but I'm gonna do it anyway because I got to do it. I gotta get it done. All right. I guess we could start off with. Uh, Well, this pile right here would be for the various uh, variants Marvel's been doing lately. Uh, one of my favorites there, the Jessica Jones. Uh, some other hip-hop covers. Old Man Logan. Uh, what's this? The Gwenpool. These are the Jusco variants. With that and Cap and Daredevil, Punisher... Venom. Speaking of Venom, we got Venomized. <clears throat> and, uh, I don't know, just, just most of the main titles, I guess. I never really got, uh, got to wanting to get all of them. I think the one that I missed, or was missed for me, was the, uh, the store I go to all of the Clayton Crane Captain Marvels were all damaged. So I think that was the only one I missed that I really wanted. <clears throat> and this one here, I liked it so much, I guess I got it twice. Didn't I? <clears throat> oh, and this one here, I was late to the party. I didn't really get this one at all, but everyone kept going on and on about it, I guess. I don't know. I guess I warmed up to it, because... Uh, because I got it anyway. Alright. Let's see. How about up here? These are just some books that were purchased recently. So all, all the books here were probably books that I've gotten within the last maybe two, two and a half months. This here was just from a back issue deal. Uh, Ninjack. Uh, a couple of these. I don't think this is the big deal. Chromium XO, but for a buck. Uh, I'm only missing one issue now of Astonishing X. I think that's number five. Issue three, DMZ. Uh, Michael Turner, Justice League. Big fan of Wormwood. Really like that. Saw it, had to buy it. Not gonna pass up an Adam Hughes ghost cover for a dollar. James Bond, it's just a variant of one of his series. Uh, number one, God Hates Astronauts. I don't know. Figured I'd give it a try. Super stoked when this came up. So, this Infinity Prelude. The Infinity Number 9. <clears throat> and I gotta admit, I did a little bit of like a yeah when I pulled this 10 out for a dollar. So I was really stoked about that. Also, the last issue of The Oath miniseries, Brian K. Vaughn. Uh, this is kind of a weird, uh, hard to finder. Last of Us. Love this cover. Someone put this on one of their vids, and I'm a real big fan of like Japanese aesthetic and architecture, and really happy to have found that for a buck. Almost putting the finishing touches on a complete Hellblazer run. I think I'm about maybe 11 issues back. Grim Leaper, what the heck is that? Uh, Cannibal. Just a random issue that I picked up. Uh, I haven't got into it much, but I mean, variants and stuff being what they are lately, and everyone's kind of starting to get their opinion. Like this, man. I. Everyone's going off about the Del Auto. Uh, you know, sketch this and, and virgin variant that and all. I really like this one. So, uh, that's the one I got. I think it's a 1 in 25. Looks killer. All black cover. Uh, obviously a lot of people have seen that one. These here for some, are uh, eBay purchases. eBayed from a specific uh, single source. And totally happy to get this. That new Nick Fury 
a la Steranko. Very cool. Number two's in here somewhere. Uh, <laughs> this thing here came from a store closing. The store was closing and uh, they had 70% off all books. And I still think I overpaid for that thing. Anyway, uh, obviously the Walmart packs and these here were in really good shape. Unlike sometimes when you go in and find bagged or pre-packed comics. So those were in good shape. Yeah. Uh, a couple back issues, random back issues from uh, a comic store working on some She-Hulks. <clears throat> some really good condition uh, Hulk annuals and like this one here I mean that was in very nice shape needs a new bag but Adam Warlock appearance well okay this isn't a book I've gotten recently it was just in there but <laughs> damn that's a nice book Speaking of nice books, this too, man. Bam! This thing is beautiful. I was so happy to find this stash of some early Hulks. This one also. Early Spectre and Adventure Comics. Uh, yeah, the Mylar helps, but that book's clean. <clears throat> Same with Detective. I'm not going to leave Detective Comics with that cool cover on the shelf if I found it so gotta come alright sketch cover number one old Thor um, managed to find the Kirk variant 19 original cover 19 Deadpool um, Hildebrandt variant <clears throat> yeah, I fell for some Secret War, uh, Empire stuff, too. almost said Secret Wars. But, uh, yeah, I got a couple. And I particularly lucked out on the Adi Granoff here for seven bucks. So that was nice. A lot of cool characters on there. Another one for a buck. Number one, white cover, Devil Dinosaur, and the Moon Girl. <clears throat> Cover 2, Weapon X, some of the True Believers, but the Giant Size X-Men. And this guy here, this was uh, a, the one per store party variant, they call it. Um, I've seen other versions where the Oscar's in gold. <clears throat> Another Granoff uh, number 2 X-Men gold variant. Bam! Speaking of variants, look at that. The Frank Cho, all black, Daredevil. Yeah, that was awesome. Uh, series Punisher. Here's that number two variant, Nick Fury. Really cool series. Like the Nick Fury. And of course, Hank Johnson, Agent of Hydra. Jessica Jones, um, that's a cool variant. This was a great, just an A cover. Everyone was uh, really happy with the series Black Bolt and certainly that cover. <laughs> a lot of great covers in the Kingpin series. Just keeping up on that. Some more of the Wolverine, the new tw Wolverine 20, Weapon X 3. Back issue, hip hop cover. Seventeen of that. I got a complete run, but I don't have eighteen yet. Speaking of cool variants, managed to find one of those. Did all right. I found it well after the fact, but I was still pretty happy to find it. And then I like these. There were a couple of these negative variants they called this, but Black Panther's the bomb, so I have to go with that. Um, <laughs> Spawn, uh, don't get me started on this one, uh, yeah, I got, I got one, but kind of got hosed on the price. 
Uh, shout out to SPT Killerwood for getting me back into uh, the thought of collecting spawn. So here's some of the spawns that I've been able to do. Um, you know, just mostly the black and whites. But I mean, psh, when you're getting covers like that, psh, all day long I buy that. Look at that. So anyway, <clears throat> missing a couple of the Eric Larsons, but uh, mostly just trying to find these black and whites. And oh, these are cool. Boom. And the Ashley Wood, the new one. Um. This here is getting into uh, this stack. I've been really on this kick of Adam Hughes lately. And you know, I don't even care if these aren't that expensive. I'm really down with these barbed wire covers. Particularly this one. She's sitting there cleaning her gun on the can. <laughs> yeah. That's the one I haven't seen very much of too, I guess. Uh, another easy buy for Adam Hughes. Trying to also work on the first uh, little Batgirl run there up to the issue one. And of course, been really trying to knock out the key Catwomans. Huh? Gotta have that one, right? <laughs> uh, really cool Catwoman with the reflection in the blood there. 61 course 70 and I was totally I didn't pay too much for this I don't know if you could see yeah there's a crease a small one slight 71 73 and uh, I don't have the 76 but that's that's the next one because I really like that cover too <clears throat> I like this one because uh, the way they did like the Catwoman like neon, like the neon sign. This just came to me in an auction win the other day. Happy to have that one. And then, man, I don't know how many of these are were printed, but I certainly don't see a lot of these. Love to have, love that cover. Love that cover. Speaking of another Adam Hughes. I just think this is a great cover for the iconic image of Cap busting through the ice or busting out of the ice. And, uh, you know, man, just a killer. One in 50. Wait a second. These aren't, uh, these aren't recents either. These were just at the bottom of a box. First couple of Harleys. Uh, also, managed to get a run of Batgirl. What you looking at? But I really like these covers, you know, for these first uh, this first run of Batgirl. But as everyone knows, you're just getting Batgirl to get to these the art germ covers. So nine, ten. 11, 12, and of course I bought the whole run and the 12 had a bit of a, a bit of a crease down there in the corner. I'm going to really start to inquire and look into pressing, see what that's all about. Maybe that'll help that issue 12. And of course 14 was a big issue, big deal. And I'm not sure who did this cover, but I like this one too. So I'm really into that whole run there. And that was an eBay purchase. These here were um, more under under bin box finds. And this here, someone must have been wanting to pull the trigger on some Adam Hughes. Because I found these stuck back in a box and they were right next to each other. There were two copies of Sensational Wonder Woman with that just crazy Adam Hughes cover. 
and then the copy of barbed wire was sitting right on top in front of it I had to pick those up cover price uh, these were from another shop and although I have the run of black magic I didn't think I had these particular covers so I bought them again for a buck old Lucifer recent issue these were some cool issues the series the kitchen from vertigo and I kinda just bought them for for the covers you know a yeah, dollar an issue cloaks number one not sure what that was bought it for a dollar this is issue two of red one I had the Terry Dodson cover number one I figured why not get that number two I was in a why not mood cuz I don't know I mean it was a buck kinda looks like my nephew <clears throat> And this one here, and a Steve Niles one shot, Nosferatu Wars. Totally into this. Thought it was a great cover. You know, really awesome, really clean. And then, last but not least, there I saw some of the uh, Necrotia X Men Addy Granoff covers. And uh, I'll do those for a buck too. Yup. All right, so uh, full set of Choker, Temple Smith, issue one, Frank Miller, Shaolin Cowboy, Grass Kings. Man, I love this series. I love these these variants for Grass Kings. Man, it looks like a needlework, uh, you know, patchwork thread thing you'd see hanging on your grandma's house but the covers are always somebody doing shady stuff to somebody else it's really cool anyway uh oh i did get the forge right on everyone's been talking about that book being really great read and really awesome i mean obviously great uh, people working on this but uh right on look forward to reading that Kill the Minotaur. I actually ran into the author at a local comic store, Chris. Uh, anyway, check that book out. That's that's been cool. Winnebago. That was fun. That sold out. Spook House, of course. Normandy Gold. I really love these hard cases uh, imprint from Titan, and I did not see this cover very much, so I was really happy to have gotten this cover out of that stack but all the rest of that series uh, or the hard case trigger man um, peep show assignment those were all really good world reader 3 mindbender buck 50 mother russia says it all right there one baby one rifle two million zombies for a buck fifty, I'm there. Speaking of cool, this Shadows of the Grave, Richard Corbin. Have a run of that. Look at that. The Zirit cover on that uh, Space Riders Volume Two. Quantum Teens are go. I'm usually a real big fan of the Black Mask Studio stuff. Black Cloud got a run of that. Briggs Land A cover. Oh. Adam Hughes, goodness. Team Betty. Hmm, I think I'm more Team Veronica, though. <laughs> God Shaper. Man, that's just a really cool cover. Speaking of, uh, I saw this and I was like, is that a variant? I actually kind of liked it better. And so I bought that cover of Briggs as well. Jimmy's Bastards, number one. I actually have the the variant where they're all hanging out in the pool coming to me soon. That should be the one I really like. Great series, another black masker. Solar Flare, that series is rolling. Um 
this is the kind of stuff I really find myself into. Jazz Maynard, Black Mask, uh, indie titles, black and whites, things like that. So I really went for that one. Uh, older Rat Queen. Look at that, man. Shaolin Cowboy. Whoa. Running away. Shaolin Cowboy. Frank Cho cover. Just awesome. That's so cool. Dark Horse Rebels. Big fan of that series. Second copy of Jazz Maynard. Went for that one. Paper Girls. Normals. You know. That's what's up. Indie books. Old Guard. Full run of East of West. Full run of Deadly Class. The New Rat Queen series. Plastic. Man, that's messed up. Donnie Cates on some Redneck. I don't think I have it, but I have that Ashcan Redneck number one. That was cool. Uh, Lion's Forge with this Aberatu series. Very cool. Uh, anything Dan, uh, Hickman, I'm down with. But Dead and the Dying, this came back into into print. That was issue four after quite a long time off. Sure, everyone knows Pestilence. But do you know this one? Boom! Love that issue one variant for Pestilence. Oh yeah, there's the Aberatu number one. Uh, Samaritan Veritas. Shout out to my man Matt Hawkins. Right on. Uh, David Mack cover, The American Gods. Star Wars, part of that Citadel series. That should be in here too. Britannia, the new volume two Britannia. Low, love that cover. Faux kids walk into a bank. Well, how did that get in there? Delato. Uh, righty. Department H. <laughs> or as my wife calls it, Depth. <laughs> Black Hammer. One of my favorite series right there, actually. Black Hammer. That's awesome. And there's that Citadel. 1 in 25 uh, cover there. Uh back issue it's full run of they are not like us very cool actually that was number eight that was to fill in a the hole completing that whole run so far <sighs> what can i say heathen what a great story that's one of my favorite reads right now too heathen's really actually really good a couple missing back issues in the deadpool volume what four Something like that. Last issue of Hawkeye. This series here was tough to find. White, about a lady crashing into the ocean. Throwaways. Hadrian's Wall. Kill or be killed. Full runs of all that stuff. Full run of Saga. Of course, you got the Magnolia's Nam Wolf. Shout out to Terry Moore and Motor Girl. Of course, another shout out to Jim Mafood, who I was lucky enough to uh, know informally when I lived a short time in Arizona. Go, Jim. Let's see. Last issues of Kingpin. Oh, this is all the new stuff, too. What? That issue of Hulk is so awesome. Hydra Deadpool. Crane Venom 151. Why did I get this? Oh, yeah. Um, Wolverine's Kid. And that. Cap. It's a great, great issue there with the interview where he gets interviewed. Whoa! Another Del Auto. Look at that. Deadpool. New stuff. Moon Knight. Last Lemire issue. Of course, some more Jeff to call on this amazing series, Hulk. More Deadpool Punisher. I don't know. Once again, weird indie book. It usually finds its way home. Thanos, speaking of more Amir. 
sex criminals. I mean, they could stop time, man. And I don't know why. There's something wrong with me, but I always buy these covers, too. Never open them. Oh, uh, Dr. Afra, that's the Citadel storyline. Another God Shaper. Rock Candy Mountain. Extremity's been good. Kind of bummed, but of course, God Country's ending soon. It's been a great series. I've uh, been getting all the Cho covers of Harley. Uh, it's keeping up there with some curse words. Oh my gosh, this is nuts. All right, let's speed it up here. Freelancers, uh, Renato Jones, last issue of Dead Inside, up to date on all my animosities, American Monster, Few. Wouldn't be Pope Cerebus if it wasn't some Cerebus, I guess. God Country, the other issue. Howard Shaken, man, he's, he's, woo, Howard Shaken. Uh, Frank Cho. Some more extremity. Full run of stray bullets, man. Probably the best series. I don't know. I just love that series. Some more.